ADHD is a diagnosis found in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. It stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. There are two types of ADHD. There's predominantly inattentive and then there's predominantly impulsive and hyperactive. Um, you can show symptoms from both types which would give you combined type diagnosis. ADHD is most commonly treated with the use of stimulants. We use stimulants because the brain composition of a child with ADHD is different than that of a child without ADHD. The stimulant has an adverse effect on the child with ADHD by slowing down the firing of their neurons. Uh, we do see that stimulants are one of the most commonly abused drugs among adolescents and college students. And that's because their brain composition is different. Uh, they have not been diagnosed with ADHD, so it affects them differently than a child that has been diagnosed. We also use therapy in conjunction with medication to teach coping skills for hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention. We most commonly see ADHD affect in children in the classroom, uh, whether that be their grades dropping or they have an inability to complete assignments. Sometimes it affects them behaviorally in the classroom where they're impulsive calling out answers or impulsively getting out of their seat and moving around the classroom without permission. We also see it affect them socially in that they can't or are unable to complete an activity with friends because they're distracted by something else around them. You can see it affect them in the home as well in that they may be unable to complete chores that have been given to them by their parents. Parents should be looking for um, an inability to complete assignments, whether that be in school or at home. At school, the child may sit down to take a test and can't finish it within the allotted amount of time or they forget to complete homework or forget to turn it in. At home, you may give them a list of chores to do and they start off on the first one and then become distracted by something else as if they've completely forgotten that you gave them a list in the first place. ADD is a previous diagnosis from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. In years past, it was used to um, diagnose the inattentive type of ADHD, and now we use ADHD as a, um, an over-encompassing diagnosis, and so we have the two subtypes instead of two separate diagnoses. Here at Canopy, we see children starting at age five, and so we would wait to diagnose until then. Uh, the main thing that you would want to look for in diagnosing a child with ADHD is looking for behaviors that are inappropriate for their age. So you want to look for the behaviors that should not be displayed by a five, six, seven year old, but a child that's three or four may display those behaviors and it be age appropriate for them. For more information about the Behavioral Health Clinic and other services at Canopy Children's Solutions, please visit mycanopy.org.